Hey guys, Proper English here. Lately I've seen some people playing around with dropper-based circuits, and of course I wanted to get in on the fun, so I threw together some dropper-based RAM. We can enter data up here, so we'll enter a 6, so that's 0, 1, 1, 0. And then when I come over here, I can save the data to the RAM, flip this lever, now it's saved, you can see that this part changed. And when I want to output the data, I just flick this lever, and we're reading the data, there's our 6. So this thing's kind of neat. I'm not sure how practical it is, but it's a fun circuit. So let's take a look at how this thing works. The first thing we should do is take a look at the memory cell at the core of this RAM. This is an SR latch based on droppers. It's a neat idea. All we're doing is moving an item around using these droppers. And when the item is down here in this dropper, we've got an output and we can reset it over here by moving the item back to this dropper. So now there's nothing in here and there's no signal output. Now let's make this a little bit more complicated. I've taken the dropper SR latch and turned it into a dropper D flip flop. And this is the memory that we're gonna use in the RAM. And so we've got a data input up here. Right now it's set to zero, but I'm gonna turn this on and set it to one. So we're gonna save a one to the D flip flop. And that happens when I flip this lever. And so two things happen. When this signal comes over to this dropper, if the item is in the lower dropper, it gets moved to the top dropper. Then, this torch may or may not turn on depending on our data input. Because what happens is when I flip this lever, this torch gets powered. And then this guy can turn on because this one's off. But in this case, because we've got a one up here, this torch can't turn on. And so the top dropper does not move the item back down to the lower dropper and we save a one. But now if we want to save a zero, we can turn this guy off. We come over here, do the same thing, flip this lever, and now what happened is the item got moved up here, but then this torch was able to come on because this line is off and our data input is off. And so we moved the item back down to the lower dropper and now this torch is getting powered and so our output is off and we've saved a zero. Now we need to do one more thing to turn this into RAM. The last step is simple. All you need to do is control when this output torch gets turned on and right now it's turned off because we're powering it with this torch. But we've saved a one in here and so when I want to read the data all I need to do is flip this lever and our output is allowed to turn on. Now if we've got a zero save in there, so we've got a zero in our data input, we can save it when we read the zero, we still get a zero because we're getting power going into this torch coming from our memory cell. And that's it. This is some dropper-based RAM. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.